Hello there, this is Rupesh and watching CPP Nuts video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning about constant cast in C++. So we all know there are four types of cast available in C++. Constant cast, static cast, dynamic cast and reinterpret cast. So first we will see this one in later videos we will be looking into all those cast. Okay. So this is a little bit of note. I will be discussing two point. This is first point and this is second point and lastly we will be discussing about the bottom line so let's start this so first read this note here the expression constant cast can be used to change the constant or volatile qualifier of pointers or reference so we all know this is the syntax of type casting so see you can type cast const cast and this is the syntax for that so this is the destination type and this is your source so what this line is telling that your source should be either pointer or reference okay and where t must be a pointer reference or pointer to a member type whereas this one this t should be either pointer or reference or a pointer to a member type okay only these type can be converted using constant cast okay so let's see what is first point. The first point tells when the actual referred object or variable is not const, then only use constant cast. What it does, it removes the constantness of your variable or pointer or reference. Okay. So this is the first case and this is the second case. Both are exactly equal. The only difference is this variable is constant here. Okay. You are creating a constant variable, you are taking the address of that variable inside another constant integer pointer. So this is okay. Now what you are doing, you are removing the constantness from here so that you can ultimately change this variable. Okay, that's what we are doing here. Got it? And now we are changing that variable. And the comment says invalid and undefined behavior because there is one variable this is a constant variable now you have taken the address of this variable so let's suppose the address is f and f into some another variable and this variable is a1 and this will be b1 and 0 cross f and f initially you told that this is a constant variable okay with this now you are removing that constantness and trying to access this memory address by this one. So you are dereferencing this memory address and you are pushing the value. Whereas the original memory which is this one is constant. So this case is totally invalid and undefined behavior situation. Okay. You should never use something like this. Even though it is allowed, I mean it will compile but you should not do that because this type of situations are invalid and not defined in C++ compiler. So you might get some weird result. Okay. So let's see where you can use this constant cast. This is the situation where you can use that. See the original address is not constant. So here it is like this. You have this A2 and let's suppose this is FF0. This is not constant. You are storing this address somewhere here. 0 cross f f 0 into b2. And you are trying to cast away the constantness of this pointer which is this one and dereferencing this operator I mean the address and you are changing this a2 itself. And this is a valid code and you can do that. Because the original address is not constant here original address was constant so there was a problem okay so this is how we do this this is the first case where you will use such things i mean constant cast this was the first scenario let's look at the second case or before going to that case let's compile this see it has compiled successfully and there is no error in this now you guys might be thinking that what actually it will print so let's print that so if you have printed a1 
and if you have printed this d reference d1 then what would be the value okay let's see that that value would be little shocking for you i know that and i will demonstrate why it is like that see a1 is 10 but d1 is 15 how is it possible if the underlying address which is this one is equal so how this one address is holding two value like 15 and 10 how is it possible how is it happening here no it is not like that actually what happens when you have defined some variable a1 as a constant compiler will try to optimize your compilation and instead of a1 when you are compiling your compiler will directly write this value here so instead of a1 it is writing 10 here and this d1 what you did ultimately changed this address okay and instead of 10 now a1 which is this 0 cross ff address is actually holding 10 okay not 15 so that's why you are getting 10 and 15 like this and I think we understood this first one so let's go for the second one second one tells you use constant cast for this purpose when we need to call some third party library where it is taking variable or object whatever you are passing as non-constant but does not change that what do I mean by that is this code you have this constant variable you have pointed out that constant variable with a constant pointer now there is a situation that there is this third party library actually in third party library you don't have the definition you just have the declaration part and you just include the library so that you cannot change that here you can change it but in actual third party you cannot change anything okay like in C if you remember there is a sorting function q sort that function parameters are fixed you cannot change that so the same way you cannot change this one but I don't have any option so I'm just taking this to demonstrate that so the situation is you're having constant variable x you're a constant variable I mean the pointer variable of that x now you are holding this one right now and the situation is you have to pass the value to third party library where it is not taking constant integer pointer it is just taking integer pointer but you have a constant integer pointer and if you are not using this one and passing this px which is a constant to non-constant it will throw an error at compile time so i shall just simply remove this and if we will compile it it will throw error see it is telling that invalid conversion from constant integer pointer to integer pointer okay and if i will use that now let's again compile that see it has successfully executed and the answer is 30 so you will use constant cast when there is some situation like this your third party library is non-constant and your data is constant so you will cast away that constantness from your data and you will send that okay but yes that library should not change that data otherwise it will become undefined behavior what we learned in the first point okay see it is not changing it is just taking the value at that address and adding with k okay so ultimately it is become 30 we saw that so this is the second case i won't be showing the situation where it can remove the volatile qualifier you just assume it removes the volatile qualifier because this volatile is generally used in embedded systems where you don't want to optimize any variable you tell to the compiler that please don't optimize this variable and sometimes you want to remove that volatile type from the variable and you want to tell that okay now you can optimize that variable okay so that was the second point here now let's look at the bottom line bottom line says that never use this because it will compile as we saw that in our previous first case see this was executing but this was undefined behavior okay so you might think okay it is working so it is allowed but it is not allowed actually okay so never use until unless you have to use it okay second point is use only when the actual referred object or variable is not constant that we saw in first situation okay and third point is use when we are dealing with third party library and some api 
want some data non constant form but we have it in constant that also we saw in our third i mean the second point okay so to recap that constant cast removes constant or volatile qualifier from the variable and what you are type casting should be either pointer or reference which is this v here so this is the source what you are type casting and what you are type casting into that should be either pointer or reference or a pointer to a member type okay and constant cast should be avoided until unless you really need to use that okay so i think we are done here let's look at the next video about static cast and link is given in the description field bye bye